Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be diving into the topic that I'm sure a lot of us have been wondering for the past few months. Where exactly is PGA Tour 2K25? Now, with all the build-up of sports games that we've had recently, I think one we all expected to see was 2K25 coming along this year. And I'm sure it's not just myself, but you guys as well who are watching this video right now wondering what's happening with the next instalment of the PGA to a 2K series. So let's get into it and let's take a look as to what might be happening with the series at this moment in time. So the first thing we ought to do is take a quick look back at the previous iterations of the series. Over the past few years, we've had a couple of entries into the series, starting off with PGA Tour 2K21. That was obviously the first iteration of the 2K series in the golf simulation world. And again, you obviously had Justin Thomas as your cover star. You had all these new and exciting improvements to a golf game that we hadn't seen for a while. And to be fair, it was sort of the big arrival of golf games coming back onto the scene, really, because you had the makers of the 2K series who made the golf club previously, which was really, in the grand scheme of things, a little indie studio in the grand scheme of what 2K usually puts out with their NBA 2K series and other well-known series as well. And then next up, you had the 2K23 entry into the series, which wasn't necessarily a huge step forward for the series, but again, it was a little bit of a step forward in terms of incremental updates to the game and of course you had Tiger Woods gracing the cover of a golf game for the first time since his EA Sports days and to be fair with 2K23 there were a lot of happy fans playing that game and there were a lot of a lot of golfing boxes ticked in terms of what people wanted from a golfing game you had the golf course creator you had online modes you had a decent career mode considering the fact that they didn't have the major licenses in there but of course, they've got licenses of the PGA Tour, so there were some standout moments and tournaments in there as well. And not to mention all of the usual stuff in terms of customization, season passes, things like that that were in there. But we're essentially two years removed from 2K23 being released into stores and into our hands. And there's still no mention of 2K25 anywhere. So where is it? Now, I'm pretty confident in thinking that 2K25 is indeed on the way. There just hasn't been an official announcement yet. And there's two reasons for that. So the first one is, is at the Creator Classic that came at the Tour Championships, one Peter Finch mentioned on one of his podcasts that the prize for winning said Creator Classic was essentially getting scanned into the next PGA Tour 2K game as well as being able to design a course of their own choosing. So that on its own tells you that somewhere in the background and in the periphery, 2K25 is being made by said studio. It's just that obviously there hasn't been an official announcement yet. And it shouldn't really come as a surprise that it is on its way because the previous 2K entries into the golf series had done pretty well. There hadn't really been any reports of it you know missing expectation of sales or you know the studio being slimmed down or anything like that if that had been the case then i think our concerns of where 2k25 is would have been pretty clear to be honest the other thing and it's not necessarily as important as a point but we are seven seasons in now into this game cycle and if you actually take a look at the season pass for this year or for this season i should say you've actually got well over a thousand days left on that particular season now normally when there's a gap between seasons it would be around 60 days or 90 days or whatever the gap is between seasons or has been between seasons for 2k23 so that's just another indication that 2k23 is winding down and it is in its final days as being the latest golf game that 2k is putting out into the ether so historically, 2K has been releasing their PGA Tour games every two years, both with 2K21 and 2K23. And of course, 2K23 came out in 2022, so of course, we haven't seen anything yet. It's 2K, it's 2024 now, not 2K24 now. But we were expecting the game to drop this year, of course. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that, why it hasn't come out this year. 
and I'll get into those for you now. So the first one, I think, is you've already had a couple of 2K sports or simulation games come out already. This year, you've had, of course, you've got WWE 2K24 releasing earlier this year. And then you've got Topspin 2K25 releasing at the end of April. Now, again, would that necessarily stop them from releasing a golf game later on in the year? Probably not. But you probably want to give both those games as much space and as much ability to sell as many copies as possible before you bring in the next sports game. And from the sounds of it, Top Spin's going to get a couple of years of season passes, of development, and of updates to come through, much like the golf games have as well. The other thing that I think that is holding back 2K25 from being released this year is potentially them moving onto these current-gen consoles solely and removing, essentially, the PS4 and Xbox One consoles. You're seeing a lot more games now moving away from the elder generation and into this next generation. And I think that by doing that, they'll be able to bring a bigger graphical update, a bigger mechanical update, as well as a few other bells and whistles to to the game as well because as great as i thought 2k23 was it didn't necessarily have that major step forward that we would have liked to have seen when we were solidly into the ps5 and xbox series x era so of course with that being said 2k25 is very much looking to raise the bar in terms of golf games and with ea coming out as well with their own iteration last year it kind of makes sense that 2K is maybe giving themselves a little bit more time to get this golf game ready and into our hands in a near future date. Now, whether that means it's coming out in the early parts of 2025, I'm not 100% sure. But I can't exactly begrudge a games company wanting to try and make and giving their studios as much time as possible to get the game to the peak of performance before it releases. So hopefully, with the potential of the game moving into solely being on PS5 and Xbox One Series X, we'll see some groundbreaking graphics, maybe golf courses looking as pretty as they possibly can, and hopefully some new gameplay mechanics that'll bring even more iteration to the golf game in general. And hopefully, with them taking the time, it means that 2K is taking this game seriously enough so that when this next game comes out, we'll all be very happy with the final product. So where does that leave us? Well, it's clear to see that 2K25 is very much on the way. It's just not clear to anybody when or where we will see it for the very first time. If I were to make a prediction, I would guess somewhere around the February-March time when the golf season is starting to get into gear and start to get into the cycle of the sports calendar. Whether that means it'll be in our hands to play or not, I don't know. But it wouldn't exactly be a bad move for them to release around the time of maybe the Masters or the US PGA Championship. But of course, we have to take into consideration the fact that EA Sports has all of the major licenses in terms of the four majors. So they could well be gearing up to release their game at some point in the next few months as well. So let me know what you think. Are you excited for PGA Tour 2K25? What features do you want to see? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for all the latest updates or any future updates on PGA 2K25. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, keep swinging for those greens. And I'll see you in the next video.